Think tanks. Think Videx. Videx have designed a solution-based approach for your tank upgrade. When starting your tank build, all concrete plinths need to be designed by a civil engineer. The concrete plinths must be level within a 3mm tolerance on the level. The center to center on the concrete plinth should be 1 meter 222 millimeters, while the length of the concrete plinths must have a 300 millimeter overhang on each side of the tank. Place your capping strips on the length of the plinths loosely. No need to cast it onto the concrete plinths. When starting the tank build on the plinths, create an L shape to ensure that the tank is square with the plinths. Place the strategically engineered EPDM gaskets between each panel, bolting them together loosely on top of the plinths. Where the four nodes of the panels meet, on the base, insert butyl. X rubber, then X cleat plate, gets bolted on each node where the four corners come together. Follow the process until the base is complete. Please note that the drain of the tank must be fitted in the correct position on the base as per tank layout drawing indication. Always start on the corner of the base which connects the first tier of the wall to the base of the tank. Wall panels must be installed in one direction to be able to finish the tank square. Please note that the professionally manufactured outlets will always be on the first tier of the tank as indicated on the open tank layout drawing. The division wall in the middle of the tank will be layered as each level is completed in sequence. This sequence will continue until the last level is reached. Make sure that the correct panel thickness has been used. The VST quality manufactured inlet, overflows, test returns and cooling lines will be installed in the correct positions in the top tier of the tank. Videx have designed a state-of-the-art wall-to-wall -wall and corner bracing that exceeds all its competitors. This will then be introduced to the internal structure, adding support to the corners and the walls of the tank. Fix the box cleat bracing from wall to wall and corner to corner with butyl and X rubber before bolting. Repeat this process until bracing is complete. The VST quality standard GNY cleat is to be installed and not tightened. Execute the rest of the tank walls with the roof trusses. Pipe connectors are connected between the roof trusses for stability and keeping the trusses square to the tank. Before installing the roof, all the bolts and bracing must be impacted in sequence to square out the tank. You are now able to tighten the GNY cleat and are ready to install the vortex inhibitor on either side of the division wall. When installing the roof sheets, lay them out in an L shape to ensure the roof is installed square. All roof sheeting is attached with tech screws to the roof trusses. As part of the ASAP compliance, once the roof is complete, there are two landings and four manholes that are installed on the fire tank. Two of the four manholes are for the inlet inspection and the other two are for the internal access to the tank. There is a ladder placed inside the tank for internal access as well as two external ladders that gain access to the roof where the roof landings and manhole are. You now can install the level indicators that indicates when the tank is full or empty. Once the tank build is complete, you will then be upgraded to the VST dry sign-off stage. Think tanks. Think Videx.